Welcome back to the next installment of my fool's errand where I see if I can replicate something that uh, professionals have spent millions of dollars and decades developing. So some of the issues that I ran into last time in my DIY Skycam project were the stepper motors, um, the mounting of the stepper motors was not working very well and I didn't have much of a take up spool for the for my uh, string to wind up on it would get jammed up in the mount or it would get uh, fall off the end so I've grabbed a couple more of these surplus motors first thing I did was to pull the little lead screw thing off the end using the gentlest of methods and the most uh, precise of tools which leaves me with a nice smooth shaft that I can mount some kind of a spool on. So that, uh, that works well, I think. But I do have to come up with some kind of a spool. And for that, I had to wait until a new tool arrived, which allowed me to print these. Yes, I got a 3D printer. Uh, not just for this project, but it was definitely part of the impetus. So now I'm spending an awful lot of time learning how to use it. And this is the first version of the spool that I printed, which I made all kinds of mistakes on. First of all, I didn't use any supports. So you got all this gunk up here. And then I printed it vertically, which puts all the layer lines like this. And unfortunately, makes it super weak. So can't use that. Then I tried again printing them in that orientation. Um, with some supports underneath. I'll just peel off here. Um, so what that does is uh, puts all the layer lines this way so it's got strength across it. And just once I peel the support off, it makes a fairly smooth cylinder. They're smooth enough for what I'm doing anyway. I'll just cut these little bits of support off here and we'll give this a shot. Well, there and that I sized to just over three millimeters because that shaft's three millimeters that slides on there pretty well and I think just for experimenting I'll just glue it on so I'll just quickly mount one of these guys up in the same brackets that I was using last time and uh, we'll see what happens oh yeah and the other problem was keeping the line going straight onto the spool so I've invested in some of these eye bolts just standard quarter 20 hardware and yeah however long this thing is um what is that about 10 centimeters or 12 centimeters or something like that um anyway it uh so hopefully that will guide the line no matter what angle it comes in from it hopefully will guide it in and i mean that's going to be like this so hopefully that'll work i don't know um i've just got some uh a little daub of hot glue on the shaft here hopefully that's going to hold that for now and as you can see that bolt is just into a little countersunk hole on the back of this random bit of wood and i had to just so that this uh, bracket wouldn't bow up i had to cut a little chunk out just because it was coming up at a wonky angle so we will give that a shot and just to test it uh just because all my other uh, stepper drivers are up on the wall right now. I'm just going to use this easy driver. Um, it connects close enough to the same that it doesn't matter. Okay, I think that ought to do it. So if we're going the wrong direction. There we go. Okay. Speed up the steps a little bit. That seems to be working. I've just got to wait on the other end of this right now and I got to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't get too close here. Okay, that seems to have uh, run in okay, I guess. I'm not sure if I want that small circumference or if I want a larger circumference, which will ultimately speed the thing up a little bit. As it is now, it's coming in a lot faster than it uh, than it did before, but I can adjust the speed of it too. Whoa, that seems to work. And it doesn't seem to be too upset about what direction that comes in. Uh oh, uh oh, ah, stop. Okay, well that seems to be working okay, I guess. 
I think I might want to uh, make this mount a little bit more firm. Still a little vibrate there. And this is kind of janky, this cutoff here. So I'll use my new tool and see if I can come up with something that'll uh, mount better on there. Okay, that looks pretty neat. So I've uh, got a little bit wider piece of wood and I've marked out the spot for the uh, little driver circuit boards that I built the last time. They should fit right about there. And then I've got a couple holes for screwing it to the wall. I've got those closer to the side, so hopefully this time I can actually hit the wall studs and not just into the drywall, make it a bit more secure. And then, put this guy in here and, oh, the screws aren't long enough. Huh. But I noticed that there's some threads on the back here. So I think I can spin these screws around. Yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, that's nice and solid on there. So this bracket is just one that I found on Thingiverse. But the other thing that I did while I was uh, waiting for that to print was to go back into my design software and modify that thing slightly, very slightly actually. I just increased the diameter of the outside and I put a little bit of a slope on there and made it much longer but I don't know that's like that much hanging out there and I don't think I need that so then I came up with version 3 of it and I think that's going to work better once I clean that up okay so that slides right on there and I managed to size it so that it doesn't foul on those screws, which the previous version just about did. And it, when it's in there, it's barely got any stick out at all. So it's supported the full length of there. I think that will pick up uh, my, my string, my uh, line fairly well. So let's hook up the motor and give that guy a shot. I guess I'll just put a blob of that on there and jam him on. Okay, that still turns, that's good. Okay, I think that hot glue's cooled off enough. So I'm just gonna hold tension on this and turn that on and turn that on. Speed him up a little bit. So this string that I've got on here this time is the full length of what I'm going to be using. It's the measurement of the diagonal of my room, which is about five and a half meters or thereabouts. So what happens when I hit the end here? Okay, it does that. And it winds fairly flat once it gets past the middle. I should have put that blob off on one end. So that's winding fairly smooth on there right now. That's good. I like that. Just for fun, I'm going to see what this thing can do for weight. I've got that rig clamped to the desk. And over here, I have one of my wife's one pound uh, dumbbells for her aerobics or whatever she uses those for. So let's see what happens if I push the on button. nice so this thing can in fact lift that one pound weight which is about 450 grams for the rest of the world so that's uh that's good that's well over what i'm ever expecting this thing to lift in the real world or in the world of my basement anyway so that's promising now the 3d printed stuff was making cracky noises my hot glue didn't uh, move okay i think i can carry on to make a bunch more of these things and well and maybe, maybe I'll just mount this thing up first. I don't know, not sure what I'll do next. So just for comparison, here is the plan A, original one, and this is the Rev B, somewhere between Rev B and C version. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit more solid and uh, slightly less janky. 
which makes it the only non-janky thing in the entire project. But I think that's going to work. Um, I'll just disconnect that and move this board over. And just for that added touch of uh, giving the impression that I know what I'm doing, I'll even strain relief that cable a little bit. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, okay, I'll make it secure so it can't slide. Fine, you want to be that way. Okay, now that I've got that one up there and mounted, we'll just try, this is the same sketch and the same test setup that I had set up, I had the last time, I haven't changed anything. And my, uh, my uh, code contractor hasn't uh, come up with anything. Well, he's been working on it, but uh, it's proving to be uh, time consuming, even for somebody who's good at code. So we'll just leave that alone for now. And uh, so we'll see what happens when I push some buttons here. Well, that seems promising. One thing I notice is I'm going to have to work on the geometry a little bit, or eh, the coding department will have to work on the geometry a little bit, so that when I'm going... Um, let me just draw this quickly. So we're going to have to work on the in the code a little bit um, when we are going in this direction. This one is obviously going to be reeling in, and this one's going to be reeling out. But these cables here also have to get a little bit longer by some mathematical amount in order to keep uh, the camera at the same altitude. Otherwise, as you noticed, with only two motors running, it does travel in that direction, but it's also going up, which isn't ideal. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to be overcome, but... Hopefully that's not my problem because I got uh, my teenager doing the programming for me. But these reels, I think, are a success. Oh, actually the shorter version of it, about that long. And I think these are also a success. This one was my first attempt and it didn't print very well, but I think I'm going to use it anyway. I don't think it's going to be a problem. The motor should still fit in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can use that one. So I've got to print some more of these spools, the short version. I've got to print a couple more of these. And I've got to get busy on some carpentry. And I think that's kind of where I will leave it for today. Um, I think uh, I, I spent a lot of time working on the printing. This may look like a simple part, but when you've never done CAD before, it took quite a bit of effort. This, of course, was not that difficult a thing to print because I just found it on Thingiverse and printed it, but I had to do a little bit of figuring out to, uh, to get it to print properly. The second one, I had to put a brim around it, which is basically for helping it stick down to the print bed when it's printing. And that is a whole new skill set, is uh, the CAD and the 3D printing and everything else. It's kind of neat to play with, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to focus too much on that because I... There's plenty of 3D printing channels who do it a lot better than I do. I've only had the printer for a week or two. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at right now. So thanks uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, checking out what I'm up to. Um, this project's going to show up uh, every month or two as I get more, uh, more uh, down the line on it. Any comments and questions, as always, down below in the comments section. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I will talk to you later.